Good afternoon to all of our um, virtual fitness friends. We are here again this afternoon with another Kids Rowdy Reading Program. So we've got our helpers again, Miss Heather and Alex and Amelia, and they are going to be helping us again with some stories to make for an active story time. So we have two stories that we're gonna be doing this morning. So to kind of get your kids up and moving, um, or grown-ups too, parents, y'all can also participate. So the first story that we are going to do is with Mo Williams, and it is I'm a Frog. And then we're gonna be doing some yoga afterwards. So I'm a Frog. So this is all your kids need to know. Um, we've got some mats out because we're gonna be doing some kids yoga on the mats too, but you do not have to have a mat. You just need a little bit of some space um, our participants have taken their shoes off. Um, depending on where you are on whatever surface that you're on, you can leave your shoes on if you want to, or you can take your shoes off, or you can take your socks and your shoes off, whatever you want to do. Um, but for Anna Frog, you just need a little bit of some space, and you are going to be listening for two different words in the story. Every time you hear the word frog, you're going to be doing three frog hops or three frog jumps. Every time you hear ribbits, you're going to do one frog jump or one frog hop. And you can also even make the sounds or say ribbit as you do it with ribbit as well. All right, are y'all ready to listen to the story? You ready? All right, so I'm gonna squat down so you can see them. And the story is called, I'm a Frog with Piggy and Gerald. Ribbit! 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 Gerald scratches his head. What? Ribbit! 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 Piggy, is that you? Ribbit! Gerald, do you want to pretend to be a frog? Yeah. 
the video from last week. This book is also on there from last week. So it is called the ABCs of Kids Yoga. But there are so many different ones in here that we are able to pick some different yoga poses. So each letter of the alphabet has a different yoga pose. And instead of showing the pictures of the book on the screen, um, actually, I'm not going to do that. We're going to show our demonstration. So every letter of the alphabet has a different yoga pose. All right. Are you all ready? A is for alligator, resting on my belly, a hungry alligator and I open and shut go my palms as I snap at everything nearby. Good alligators. B is for bird. High on my tiptoes, I am a bird preparing to fly. Flapping my wings repeatedly, I give flying a try. Oh, y'all are some graceful birds. C is for cat. My hands and knees on the floor, I become a cat. Stretching one leg to form a tail, I say, meow, meow, just like that. D is for dolphin. I am a dolphin who loves to swim in the sea. I sit on my heels with arms stretched in front of me. Straightening my legs, I keep my forearms on the floor. I look at my feet so my neck does not get sore. Oh, we are good dogs. E is for easy pose. I like to relax in easy pose. Taking deep breaths in and out through my nose. With my legs crossed and my back straight, I continue to breathe while counting to eight. F is for flamingo. Standing tall, I bend one knee, or one leg, sorry, and hold it on my knee. Like a flamingo, I balance just as stable as I can be. With my eyes focused straight ahead, I have tremendous poise. <laughs> And I hold my stance silently, never making a noise. First I balance on one side, and then I switch, and I give the other side a try. <laughs> Was it hard to balance like a flamingo? Mm -hmm. G is for gates, starting on all fours. One leg bends, can you see it? While the other one extends, keeping my front arm straight. My body begins to form a gate. Sending my opposite arm up in the air, I now balance in gate pose with care. Good job. Do you want to switch and try your gate on the other side? Just to balance? So you can do it both sides. Good job. H is for happy baby. So hugging my knees into my chest, I lie on my back 
and simply rest. As I grab hold of my feet, I look like a baby, so happy and sweet. I is for inhale. One of the most important parts of any yoga pose is remembering to breathe deeply by inhaling through my nose. J is for Jack in the Box. Sitting with my knees bent into my chest, I bring my arms around them and take a moment to rest. I point my forehead towards my knees and then I count. On the count of three, I hold still, I freeze. Then inhaling, I lift my head towards the sky, popping up a jack in the box, and I. Y'all are good. K is for knot. On my belly, I lie. The knot pose is so easy, I hardly have to try. With arms crossed in front of me and legs stretched out behind, I focus straight ahead. What a good way to unwind. L is for lion. I kneel on my shins with my chest on my thighs. <laughs> Getting ready to spring forward, I look to the sky. I get a mighty roar on the count of three. I was a lion cub to play with her lion mommy. And the new king of the jungle. Yes, a lion. That is me. <laughs> M is for mouse. I am a quiet mouse, curled up in my little house. I put my head on the floor and I sit back on my heels. Then I fold my upper body in some more. Oh, I like how this feels. I put my arms at my sides. There are so many places for a mouse like me to hide. N is for new pose. Hmm. It's time for me to create a new yoga pose. I just have to remember to breathe in and out through my nose. Ooh. Whatever yoga pose you want to do. Get to O is for otter. I am a playful otter chasing fish in the water. Lying on my belly with my arms out in front, I place my legs on the floor and extend them from my trunk. Slowly pushing up with my hands against the floor, I lift my head and my chest just a little bit more. P is for plank. My body forms a plank, a long, flat piece of timber. Doing yoga helps my body to stay both strong and limber. From dog pose, I shift my weight forward until I'm parallel to the floor. My arms and legs are straight as I pull up through my core. Good job. Q is for queen. I am a royal queen, revered in such high esteem. I stand tall and erect and to make sure my breathing is correct. With my shoulders back and my head facing straight, I slowly count to eight. You can do your queen or king waves. <laughs> R, this is a fun one. R is for rocky horse. Lying on my belly, bending both of my knees. I walk back and forth just as often as I please grabbing hold of my ankles. With the firm grip of my hands, I lift my body up and I gallop to far away lands. Oh, you have a good rocky horses. We <laughs> <that> S <laughs> is for Sphinx. The Egyptian Sphinx is part lion and part man. Made of stone, I lie still on my belly in the sand. With legs straight and forearms pressed firmly into the ground, I look forward, frozen in time, without making a sound. Oh, how good you are. T is for telephone. All right, you ready for telephone? Seated, I extend one leg, and then I bend the other. The telephone pose is truly like no other grabbing a hold of my foot and bringing it close to my ear. I can now talk on the phone to friends both far and near. 
<laughs> Say hello. Is anybody there? Can you do both feet? Can you do the other foot too, Alex? I think I meant one more flexible this time. One side may be easier to do than the other. You is for unicorn. <laughs> to become a unicorn from a faraway mythical land. I start on my knees and on my hands. I form a horn by lifting one hand to my head. To maintain good balance, I keep my eyes straight ahead. With my other hand, I press it to the floor. The unicorn pose requires nothing more. V is for volcano. Standing tall with my feet slightly apart, I bring my hands into prayer in front of my heart. Inhaling, I push my hands to the sky. The volcano pose is fun to try. Exhaling, I explode, moving my arms to the side. I then bring them back to the center, where once again, they quietly reside. W is for waterfall. Raising my arms up, I stand tall. My body forms the shape of a flowing waterfall. As I reach my fingertips to the sky, I look towards my hands held up high, extending back as far as I can comfortably go. I let my mind and my body begin to gently flow. Good job. X. Standing up with your feet wide and your arms going straight up to the sky. The letter X, I hold and I count to eight. Good job. The letter Y is for yoga. Yoga means union of breath, body, and mind. As you practice these poses, you will start to find a sense of calm and serenity, building deep within you a strong and stable identity. C, the very last letter, is for zero. Sitting cross-legged, I start, then I send my arms up to the sky. Doing the zero pose is something everyone should try. To make the number zero, I connect my fingers in the air. By focusing my gaze straight ahead of me, I become more aware. Oh, good job with your yoga poses. You did a great job. Y'all are good at story time with Rowdy Reed. All right, friends, we thank you very much for joining us. We will have um, some family fitness activities coming up with us on Thursday afternoon and some more Rowdy Reading next week. So see you soon. Bye.